Hey, this is Hal with Alco 5. Tonight we're going to do a short video on how to lap a Alco 539 head. All right, this is an Alco 539 head here on the bench. This is the one that we were doing the valve job on and testing earlier. Tonight we're going to take the lapping tool, which is uh, right here. Has a ring on the top side for lapping the liners and a groove on the bottom side for lapping the heads. We put a lapping compound on the fire ring itself then put the lapping tool on top of it and lap it back and forth and continue to apply lapping compound until we get a good clean surface on this fire ring. Parts of it look pretty good, but you can see other areas that have these, uh, these dark spots and pits and etching. That's all parts that have to be uh, continue to be lapped down, especially along this side. It's pretty heavy on this side. It was probably a compression leak um, and gas burning over on this part of the head. So until we get it all lapped down in uniform, the entire fire ring needs to look like this. All right, so we have some Firmatex uh, valve grinding compound. We're gonna put this on the fire ring of the head here before we start lapping. I've been lapping for a couple hours last night and today. It's a long process. There was quite a bit of uh, damage here on this, this fire ring from compression burns. So I'm gonna put some more compound down here. It's lapped down pretty good right now. We're almost even all the way around. There's one dark spot right here on the fire ring as a result of a um, compression leak where it burnt, the gas has burned through and etched the uh, fire ring. The rest of it's uniform and smooth, except for this one spot. So we're gonna put some more lapping compound down, and then we're gonna take the, uh, the valve lapping tool, which is right here. It has a fire ring on the top for doing the uh, cylinder liner. And on the flip side, it's machined out to uh, accept the fire ring on the head. So we carefully line that up. And we'll lap it back and forth. Changing patterns every so often. And we continue to do that until the uh, damaged areas are worn off. It starts as a 120 grit and it works its way down to a 220 grit. And uh, you just keep lapping, cleaning, lapping, and cleaning until the entire fire ring is a smooth, uniform uh, finish all the way around. All right, so we're just about done with lapping this head. We're just gonna touch it up one more time with some uh, real fine grit lapping compound. But you can see how uniform the surface looks on the fire ring all the way across. No dark spots anymore. So the liner has to be done the exact same way. And it's very important that all the lap lapping compound is cleaned off with soapy water, some brake cleaner, and uh, suitable cleaners like that to get all that compound out of there, especially in the valve surfaces as well, if the valves have been lapped, which we had just done. So this whole head will get completely cleaned up, create it, and uh, made ready to do a future installation. But uh, when the time comes, the surface area on the liner itself will have to be lapped in the exact same manner. And that's very critical to, do, to making these uh, seat properly so you don't get compression leaks. Some people do use a copper gasket that goes between the fire ring and the liner. It's an argument of whether it works best or not. Some people swear by it, others don't. I've been always told that the best seat is a metal to metal. And if you do use the copper gasket that you want to uh, retorque the heads again after it's uh, been broken and warmed up a few times. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and uh, support Alco 5.